From a technical point of view, I would say that this is definitely better than client first. Now, what I don't like about it is, what I think is so good about client first is the, let's say, Webflow developer experience. The fact that I feel like client first is very understanding of the fact that, you know, Webflow isn't HTML. I mean, it is, but it's, it's not. Like, you do it differently. I can't just click an edit container. So client first uses a lot of combo classes. And for me, for the developer experience, it works a lot better. For me personally, I'm mostly building sites for us here internally at MemberStack where we're using it. The developer experience works for us. No one is going in and making sure it's perfectly optimized. We're, you know, we're, we're totally fine with it. So am I going to use FlowKit? Not immediately. I'm going to stick to client first for now. I'm going to keep an eye on FlowKit. I've heard some really cool things are coming out with it very soon. So I'm definitely going to have an eye and I am definitely open to switching. But if you are a freelancer, an agency owner or something like that, and you know, you're trying to build the best sites for your clients, just the most high quality, well done sites, I will say that from a technical point of view, FlowKit is better. 